When the sun sets around Bolaklugu, something very special happens. Urfa, or Shamla Urfa as it's been known since 1984, is famous for its beautiful fish lake Bolaklugu and its mosques, one of them being built supposedly on the cave of the birthplace of the prophet Abraham. Because of this, in the Muslim community it's become a place of pilgrimage and highly significant in religious terms. The story goes that the leader at the time when Abraham was born was killing all the male born. So his mother hid him in a cave and this is supposedly the cave. Unfortunately nowadays most of the cave is submerged underwater. It's actually a very beautiful park here and a, and a very peaceful park if you want to sit and just contemplate. And the backdrop to this lovely park is a castle that's over a thousand years old. There are many religious stories connected to these pools and the fish are regarded as sacred. I asked the guy who's got the net, who obviously keeps the pools clean, um, how many fish do you think are in here? He says, we can't count them. He said, there's over 10,000. No one told us that when the sun sets, all this beautiful area is lit up. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And the other thing is, there must be a million birds have flown in from somewhere. Uh, it's like the film Birds, you know, with... Um, Alfred Hitchcock. Alfred Hitchcock, that's it. But Shanla Urfa is much more than just Bolaklugul. Connected to the park is a lovely old marketplace and it's one of the most vibrant I've ever seen. Give me a 
What's, what's really nice is that, that they call you into their shops but they don't actually want to sell you anything which is really unusual. They just want to get to know you. What makes it unusual is there are workshops inside the market. And it's the same everywhere you go. They just love giving things away. So you're, you're sticking to the floor because when all the sugar drips off this all day long, it forms a big sticky patch on like toffee on the floor. <laughs> and that's why we're sticking to it. Oh, it's dope though. It's just a lovely atmosphere and lovely friendly people. In recent years it's become one of the most important places in the world for its archaeological significance. Urferman, discovered in 1993 near the town centre, is believed to be 11 to 12,000 years old. This stone statue, which stands 1.8 meters tall, could be the oldest statue ever found. This has to be one of the best museums in the world, and it's incredibly well laid out. The museum describes the progression of early man through the ages, from the first simple stone vessels of the Neolithic period before humans made clay pots through and up until present day. They have some of the earliest man-made artifacts ever found here. These headsets are 20 lira, but they're worth it if you really want to know about the artefacts that you're looking at. Don't miss the Mosaic Museum next door. It's included in your ticket price. But it's nice to have a cup of tea in between. <laughs> Isn't it, lovey? Do you know, we were only going to just whip in here and rush round and go back out again. But looking at some of the mosaics here they are absolutely incredible and they're huge and very very fine stones they're made from as well so these were the first religious monuments and when you look at the size of them you can sort of relate them to stonehenge but they are thousands of years before stonehenge some of these huge stone tablets are a reconstruction and if you want to see the originals, you must go to Gobekli Tepe. So here we are at Gobekli Tepe. And this site, which is actually in the middle of nowhere, is an amazing site of historical interest. Gobekli Tepe, meaning belly hill in Turkish, has put Shanla Urfa well and truly on the world archaeological map. 
funny looking character on the side of one of the stones as well, which is fantastically carved. These huge megaliths have been carbon dated to between 11 and 12,000 years old, and they are probably the oldest ritual site ever found, predating Stonehenge by 7,000 years. Evidence shows this was a place of pilgrimage, and as a result, possibly the start of human cultivation and farming. So in episode four, we'll be going to the cosmopolitan city of Gaziantep, visiting the Zoukma Museum, and exploring the sunken towns around Al Fete. So here I am sitting at a nice relaxing pool in Shanlurfa. Um, if you want to see the next film in our series, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, or follow us on Facebook on Mikamja, and there's a lot of information in the description below, so um, take a look at that, and um, thanks for watching. <laughs>